Well, after that speech, kind of what if I'm in a box and they're burying me or something? I don't know. <laughs> well, what can I say? It's um, been a great 15 years. Um, no matter how much you think you're prepared for this and no matter what you think you think you're going to say or how you're going to feel about it, it's still, it's, it's still different. And to be honest with you, I'm shocked. It's shocking for me to, to not, not just to have the courage, I guess, to go against probably the grain of what everyone thinks in a lot of ways and, and against the grain in, a lot, in terms of what I sometimes feel by saying that, you know, enough is enough. That I've, I've played hard, I've played well, I've always done my best, and that at some point, you have to realize that you've done just about all you feel like you can do or need to do, and that it's time to move on. And, you know, that's why I'm here before you today. And to say that, it's over. It's a, it's a sad but, but happy day at the same time. I am um, I'm going to miss the guy, you know, sitting back here at OC before I came out, and all he kept saying to me was, don't cry, don't cry, because they want to make fun of me. And these guys won't stop. And <laughs> they, they won't stop. This is, that's going to always go on. But I will say to see, to see him back here and see Matthias Kiwanuka back here just now, it really, it really does make you sad. It really does make me want to cry because I'm retiring and, and these guys are still here and, and I feel like I'm leaving my family. Looking back 15 years, my career has far exceeded all expectations. It really has. I, I was hoping to get in maybe three years, not move back in with my parents. That was really my goal. I just want to have to go home. And uh, so I far exceeded that. As far as the accomplishments, you know, personally, wow. I, I see what Coach read off, and you hear all those things about games played and sacks and, and, and all those Lawrence Taylor and all these guys are thinking, wow. I remember the first day I walked in the locker room, Lawrence Taylor walks through, and I'm a rookie, and the whole locker room just goes silent like Jesus walked in. And um, I remember that like yesterday, and here it is 15 years later, and um, to, be, to do the things that I've done just doesn't seem real. And you never, I never really made a plan. Things just kind of happen, and for some reason they happen in the right way. When you don't have a ring, you kind of justify to yourself that you're okay without having it. But when you get it, you're like, oh, there's no way I could have left without a ring. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy we won. That's all I can say. I can't explain last season to you. I watched the DVD. I've lived it every day here with these guys. Um, I've, I've been hot in Tampa and freezing in Green Bay, silent in Dallas, and overwhelmed in Phoenix. So... This season just has, the past season just been an unbelievable ride. And I just, I don't think you can write a book, you can write a movie, you can write anything that anyone would believe if you put what happened to us throughout the season in it. And that's what makes it so sweet and that's what makes it feel so good to be able um, to retire and say, hey, I mean, we did it. Probably something that would never be repeated with those odds against a team that's undefeated and, and that magnitude of a game. So... No better way to go out than to go out right now.